What's up, Next Gen Leader? Travis Brady here. We're back for video number two in the series of how to create and grow your own podcast. Uh, we're gonna be talking about branding today. Everything starts with your brand. It's the foundation to your podcast. And branding is not just, what do I call my podcast? What's the graphic? There's so much more to building a podcast and branding it. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. I have a question for you though, real quick. How do you, influence people okay I'm talking about you personally how do you influence people let's talk let's talk about influence for a second what is influence it's a question that we we talk about a lot and we throw out in this world but have you ever really thought or defined what is influence okay and how I define influence is not what do people think about you okay not what do you think about other people okay it's how do people feel about you when they're around you? Are they inspired? Are they motivated? Do they feel like they can do bigger and better things? Okay, and so a motto that we actually put on our our family motto was, I love myself the most, okay, when people are around me. Okay, I want people to feel they're accepted, love, capable, inspired the most when they're around me, okay? And so that's what influence is. What's your influence? And usually your influence and or how we influence is based upon how you've been influenced. Okay? Make sense, right? How you influence people is how you've been influenced. Maybe through a coach when you was younger, a teacher. Maybe it's through your parents, your uncle or your aunt, or maybe Um, a mentor or a consultant that you've hired, okay? Or maybe it's a friend. How you influence people is based upon how you've been influenced, okay? And the more conscious you can get in this process of, yeah, how have I been influenced? What was that influence? Um, Why am I the way that I am? And so now we start to get into identity, okay? Which is a whole nother conversation, but your identity is who you believe you are at your core. Because who you believe you are at your core is essentially your brand, okay? Your brand is the foundation to your business, okay? So before we start to talk about marketing, which we're gonna be talking about in the next video, okay, we wanna talk about what is that brand, okay? And what are the components of a brand? Because our whole goal is to get out this, this brand and market it to build the podcast, okay? What do we want from our podcast? Well, just like we talked about in our last video, Okay, we want to put a message out to the world where we receive a lot of money. Okay, imagine if this were real blocks. Okay, what would happen? Okay, what would happen if these were actual real blocks? Okay, we'd be doing this. Okay, and this is how most people run their podcast. Okay, it doesn't really ever gain traction, doesn't really ever get views. Okay, uh, they don't really get clients. They're not able to really connect with any big people. Okay, and you know, the first thing that we go to is like, oh, maybe I need to, you know, talk about different things in my podcast, or, you know, maybe I need to market it differently when everything lies within the brand. Okay, the brand starts with you. You are your brand. Your brand is your identity. So we need to look here at our foundation and we need to start to fill it in because now once we start to build, okay, a more solid foundation, now we're gonna be able to market it better, grow our podcast and create the services that we want. So the question is, okay, well, what are these components? What are these different components, okay? So the brand being you starts with everything you believe, everything you do or have done, and everything you have, okay? Essentially, if we were to sum this up, it would be all your experiences, okay? Again, going back to what we talked about last time, you influence the way that you have been influenced, okay? What do you believe? What does your podcast stand for? What do you want? it to be able to do for people? What do you want people to be able to have? So to get more specific with these, okay, we're gonna go into what I call the next gen brand foundations or what's called the four W's, okay? And so the first W that we need to be able to answer is why 
are we doing this podcast? Okay, so usually, again, we influence the way you've been influenced. So one of my favorite podcasts that I've listened to a lot over the years, I've listened to tons of podcasts, um, is I love Bradley Dropping Bombs. I actually had him on my podcast uh, about a year and a half ago. And if you listen to his intro, he tells you his why. We want to give knowledge from the people that have it to the people that need it. Okay, so that's why he's doing the podcast because he wants to essentially get out the knowledge of all these people that have created something successful and share their experiences and their stories out to the world. Okay, so why is the first thing that you need to be able to to answer? And if you listen to a lot of podcasts, you'll be able to notice their why. Okay, and why they're doing the podcast and the purpose of it. The next why that we need to be able to answer is what is the way that we actually do it? So going back to Brad Lee's podcast, he's like, I'm going to have people on. We're just going to shoot the shit. We're going to talk about people's experiences and through the process, you're going to learn something. Okay. So that's the way he does it. Um, you know, uh, oh gosh, I'm going to butcher his name right now. John Lee, uh, Dumas, I think is his name. <laughs> Anyways, he has a podcast called Entrepreneurs on Fire, okay? And he does, he does what's called a lightning round, okay? And so he interviews the person, but towards the end of the podcast, okay, he says, he asked everyone the same questions. If you were starting over, what would you do? If you had $500 in your pocket, uh, what's the most important thing? So he asked the similar question. So the way is essentially, what's your formula? What are the components of your podcast? What are the three main ideas? Okay, so we want to simplify it. Okay, the next one is who is your ideal listener? Okay, who do you actually want listening to the podcast? And to even go a step further on this is, you know, what is their name? Every time you talk, Okay, and every time you put out a message, this is next gen shit right here, pay attention. Every time you talk, okay, to people or to a group of people, you're giving them an identity. And whatever identity you give them is who they're going to step into or whoever you're going to attract that matches that identity. Okay, so you need to make sure you're being very clear in who you're talking about. What's the pain? that they're experiencing in their life. What's the problem? What's the plateau? What's the pleasure that they want? What are the things that they actually want to accomplish? Okay, and then also to even take this to the next level is what's their name? Okay, so I often refer to uh, people listening as next gen leaders or next gen coaches. Okay, um, Brad Lee uh, refers to his uh, listeners as the bomb squad right? What's your listener's name? What do you want to give them a title? Okay. And then the next one or the last one is what is going to be the results? Okay. So if I listen to your podcast, okay. So if I listen to your podcast, what is going to be the result if I listen to this podcast? Okay. And then to even go a step further, okay. With everything is what is the origin story? Okay, what's the origin story of why you decided to start this podcast from the beginning? Okay, what was that main reason? Everyone has a story behind why they did what they did. Okay, what's your story? What's that origin story? And that's usually one of your first podcast episodes is, hey guys, here's what my brand is all about. Here's the story. Facts tell and story sell. So that's what I do with our clients. I help them put together a story that's going to say all the things that we want to say. Okay. Information is great. However, information is everywhere. Anyone can get information that's on your podcast. That's not what's going to make your podcast different. What's going to make your podcast different is that information is going to hit them. It's going to hit them differently. It's going to hit them in the heart and the spirit and the soul, and it's going to make them do something. Okay. That's your goal of the podcast. All right. And so if we're going to do that, we need to make sure that we have a story behind that. All right. So go through this, write down these things when we're creating our next gen brand foundations, we essentially want to bring this down to one sentence. Again, going back to Bradley's podcast. 
giving knowledge from the people that have it to the people that need it. Okay, very simple. Okay, very, very straight and to the point. Okay, what's your why? Why are you wanting to do a podcast? Okay, fill this out, get really clear on this. Once you're clear on this, now we can jump to the next video, which now we're gonna be talking about the next segment, which is how do we actually market this podcast and get it out to the world? Okay, here's my tagline. Okay, going back to the brand. Be inspired, be in spirit. Inspiration is pull, be pulled. Okay, your being is you. You need to get your being to be pulled to have that in spirit feeling, okay? So be inspired. The world needs you. I believe every single person has something unique, innovative, and different, okay, that the world needs, okay? And be next gen. Be that innovative, different way of presenting it to the world, okay? Be inspired. Be next gen. The world needs you. Good talk. We'll see you on the next episode.